All right, so here is our new mounting system. I've got this uh, PGY Tech. It's a really nice anodized aluminum um, chassis, which does two things. Protects the case better than the plastic one. So pretty much everything's armored. I mean, this piece, it sticks out for the lens. That's actually, you know, replaceable cheaply. But this is now an anodized aluminum. And what's nice about it is that I can get to the SD card and the batteries. Unlike the plastic one, you have to take it out every time to hook things up to it or to remove the uh, SD card or anything like that. So this is nice that it can do that and just snap securely in place. And so what it allows me to do is the problem I was having was this, this microphone box was sitting with a USB. There's a, there's a snap-on piece. So right now I've got this, this mounting tab here that co goes into the cold shoe mount. What I had was the USB-C one, which just plugged into the port. And they said that's how you mount it. Well, the problem is, is when you're going down the road, all the weight of this as you go over bounces, there's nothing holding it to the chassis other than that little USB port. And it was starting to wiggle loose and mess up the connection. And eventually that thing would have just gone doink and flown off in traffic or on the interstate or on a track. And I would lose the stupid, you know, that's the, the audio piece that actually costs more than the damn camera. So I looked around and I was going to maybe go to another camera. And I was like, you know what, let me just see if there's a case, something I can get, because I noticed this had a cold shoe mount, as well as a lightning port and then a USB port that slides into this tab in the thing. So I was like, wait a minute. So I went and found a $40, really nice anodized aluminum chassis that will protect this in a spill. Because it's metal, I can drill a hole here in the corner somewhere to safety wire it for track use, put a clip on it, so that's good. And um, it allows me to access all the ports and remove the batteries without having to take it in and out every time, like the plastic one. That button is much more tactile. And now this thing mounts securely to that. And then I just plug in a little USB port to connect them. So that's what I've got. So we're going to go out and take it for a spin and see how it rides. But I have high hopes for this. High hopes, I say.